Hello, I'm Maria, and I work here at the Defiance Public Library System in the Children's Department. I'd like to share with you some of the new juvenile nonfiction titles, which are now available to you with your library card. For all you animal lovers, we have a vast parade of new animal books this month. Here are a few. The Beak Book, written and illustrated by Robin Page, published by Beach Lane Books. You probably know that birds use their beaks to break open their shells when they are ready to hatch. But did you know there are many different types of beaks for all different types of uses? For example, if you were a woodpecker, you would have a long, sharp beak used for drilling. Or, if you were a pelican, your beak would have an expandable pouch you would use for scooping up fish. There are also beaks for sniffing, cooling, stitching, climbing, battling, and much, much more. Curious? Borrow this book to find out which birds use which types of beaks and why. Speaking of beaks, here is a title about a bird many call their favorite. So You Want to Be an Owl, Everything There Is to Know About Owls, written by Jane Porter, illustrated by Maddie Frost, published by Candlewick Press. This book begins with a checklist of abilities required to be considered an owl. Professor Olaf is your guide through the book and several lessons to help you determine whether or not you could be an owl. Some of the owl's abilities you may have, like being able to raise chicks or hoot. Some of the owl's abilities you may struggle with, like seeing in the dark or flying. And some of the owl's abilities you may be able to do, but not want to do, like swallow a mouse hole or live in a tree. In any case, if you want to see how you measure up or just find out a bunch of cool facts about owls, this is the book for you. If owls aren't cute enough for you, I'm sure you can find some endearing animals in this title, Cutest Animals on the Planet, published by National Geographic Kids. This book is great for browsing and picking up little facts about some of the planet's most adorable animals. There are animals we know as cute, like the koala, the leopard, and the red panda. But also included are some cute animals you may have never seen, like the jerboa, the couscous, and the margay. If you're looking for cuteness overload, the over 200 pages of fantastic color photos in this title should do the trick. If an excess of cuteness does not appeal to you, perhaps this book of animal facts may be more your style. Weird Animals, written and illustrated by Ted Arnold, published by Scholastic Inc. All you Fly Guy fans will be happy to get your hands on this book, but really anyone looking for strange animal facts will enjoy it. You may have already guessed there are facts about weird animals you would expect to find here, like the naked mole rat or the blobfish. However, Fly Guy does describe some animals you may have never heard of, like the pink fairy armadillo or the echidna. In any case, if it's weird you're looking for, you can find it here. If you are looking to read about more than just animals, cute, weird, or otherwise, you may want to check out this book, The Rainforest Book, written and illustrated by Charlotte Milner, published by DK Publishing. While this title does contain information about animals that live in the rainforest, and what it's like for them to grow up in that environment, it also consists of a great deal more. Where are rainforests located? What does a rainforest look like? Why do we need to protect the rainforests? This book addresses all those questions, as well as describing an amazing variety of rainforest vegetation. There are even instructions on how to make your own mini rainforest. If it's rainforests you're curious about, Check this book out. If you would prefer to get more into the nitty gritty details of specific types of vegetation, might I suggest What's Inside a Flower and Other Questions About Science and Nature, 
Written and illustrated by Rachel Ignatowski. Published by Crown Books for Young Readers. Flowers grow in all sorts of places, but how do they get there, and what makes them grow? This book provides a comprehensive depiction of the parts of a flower, beginning with the seed. It describes the nutrients a seed needs to grow and the process of photosynthesis. The numerous illustrations throughout the book identify the different parts of a flower, as well as the details of its growth. There is even information about the insects and animals flowers need to grow, like the decomposers and pollinators. For all these things that flowers need to grow, the book also emphasizes how important flowers are to all of us. After all, they provide us with things like food, animal habitats, shade, beauty, and of course fresh air. At the end, the book provides more resources for those wanting to grow their own flowers. When it comes to beauty, flowers aren't the only thing pleasing to our eyes. Have you ever thought about the beauty of man-made objects? The Lights and Types of Ships at Night, Words by Dave Eggers, Art by Annie Dills, and published by McSweeney's, is a perfect example of some man-made beauty. Throughout the book, there are 12 different types of ships described, with illuminating pictures highlighting the beautiful lights of each one reflecting against the dark waters of the night. Along with the captivating illustrations, you will find brief definitions of these 12 different vessels. This book has just enough information for a young person beginning to develop an interest in ships, with enough beauty to enchant any reader. If you are more inclined to please your stomach rather than your eyes, check out this book, My Very First Cookbook, Joyful Recipes to Make Together, written by Daniel Cortez, illustrated by Annie Wilkinson, published by Sourcebooks Explore. This book is chock full of recipes to make a full day of meals with snacks, beverages, and desserts included. The recipes are formatted neatly on each page, listing equipment, then ingredients needed, followed with step-by-step -step instructions. I think I might try the Toads in the Hole Toasts for breakfast, then Waffle Pizza Sammies for lunch, Cinnamon Sugar Popcorn for a snack, Sheet Pan Fajitas for dinner, of course a Strawberry and Orange slushy as my beverage, and Double Chocolate Double Delicious Crackly Top Brownies for dessert. Mmm, yum yum. Those are the highlights for juvenile nonfiction this month. I promise you there are many, many more new titles that we have at the Defiance Public Library System that I didn't mention here. So if none of these sound interesting to you, check out our website at www.defiancelibrary.org or visit us soon and let us help you find something that does.